So before I get into the detail of how to choose your racket, I just want to make it clear which part are which. So this is the grip of the racket, this is the shaft of the racket and this is the head of the racket. So firstly you need to look at yourself as a player and consider two things, your ability and secondly your playing style. Thinking about your strength and what you want to get out of the racket. You then need to apply your playing style to these three main areas of the racket. No, one of them isn't the color. When I was younger, I actually based my choice of racket on the color. I now realize that was quite silly. And these three main areas of the racket are really important. As you can see, my first point is a balance point and overall weight of the racket. So there are three types of racket comes in this category. Had heavy racket, had light racket, and even balanced racket. So guys, first of all, I will tell you about the hat heavy racket. Hat heavy racket are those in which the maximum weight of the racket is on its hat. So the racket is useful for those who love to play the powerful game for the back of the court. Due to the extra weight in the hat, it generates more power, but the extra power can also slow you down a little bit since it's heavier. Shots like smash and a clear tosses are good for the hat heavy racket. So basically most of the single player use the hat heavy racket. For example Dora Z Strike, Z Force 2, X Strokes 88, 99 and 100 are some example of this racket. So guys as you can see my second racket is a hat light racket. Hat light racket means the maximum weight of the racket is in its handle. So the front player in the double have to play so much net so he or she needs to so much control as well as its reaction to hit the shuttle need very speed. So the advantage of this racket is that it gives us fast reaction to the net, good control as well as good swing. For example the Nanoray Z Speed and Nanoray 900 are some example of this racket. Now I will tell you third type of racket which is even balanced racket. Even balanced racket is those who have same hat and handle weight. It means the weight is equally distributed all over the racket. For example, the Dora 10, Dora 88 and Dora 99 are some example of this racket. If you have even balanced racket and if you want it to make the hat heavy racket, just apply the lead tip. And if you want it to become hat light racket, then apply the extra grip. To explain how this works, let's demonstrate with a simple everyday object, a hammer. If I hold the hammer this way, it resembles a hat heavy racket because all the weight is on this side. So when I swing, it's very easy to generate power. Let's use this as our test subject. It's very easy to generate power in my swing. Now, if I hold the hammer this way, which resembles a hat light racket because all the weight is on this handle and suddenly it becomes a lot harder to generate power. There isn't very much momentum in my swing. The second is a racket hat. There are two types of racket hat. The oval shape which you can see in my right side and the isometric shape which you can see in my left side. The oval shape racket is for the beginners and it is very cheaper compared to the isometric. Isometric has only one advantage that its sweet spot is bigger as compared to the oval. If you don't know the sweet spot, the sweet spot is the part of the racket from where it generates maximum power. Nowadays the 90% of the racket are made of isometric shape. Now I will tell you about the tension of the racket. So the tension of the every racket is different. So you have to look how much your racket 
can hold. I recommend the beginners to use 22 to 23 LBS, intermediate player to use 24 to 26 LBS, and the advanced player to use 27 to 32 LBS. The tighter the tension, the more control you need to have with your strokes. My thinking is that use tension only as much as you are if you feel comfortable. Number four is the racket shaft. The shaft connects the grip at the head of the racket. Firstly, there is a flexibility or the stiffness of the racket. So should you choose the flexible or the stiff racket? If you are a beginner, then you are probably not going to be generating a swing speed, meaning that your racket should won't bend as much during your shot. You should therefore go for more flexible racket, which will help you with this and help you gain more power. The stiffer racket requires more fasting, fast swinging actions and good technique to generate power. So it's more suit to an advanced player. An important thing to mention in this video is grip size. We often see G3, G4, G5 on the racket. G3 is the largest grip size and the G5 being the smallest grip size. Number six is the weight of the racket. There are five different weight categories ranging from 2U to 5U. 2U is the heaviest category and the 5U being the lightest. In general, the weight of the racket is up to you. You will find most professional players won't use a racket any lighter than 80 gram. But for the beginners, a lighter racket may be good as it's going to be easier to use and may be more forgiving to your shoulder if you don't play regularly. The final consideration is of course the cost. Now usually the more you pay, the better racket you will going to get because there are more technology used in making of this racket. However, be aware of the fake racket. I hope you have got a healthy knowledge about badminton racket so that you can take better decision to choose a perfect badminton racket for yourself. Ding endon di sine like share subscribe majeo na rona ani ngazo ker do jeyan tuje na if you like this video, don't forget to like, share, subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thank you.